15 basic MATLAB and Simulink tools that you should know. If you want to use variables in Simulink models, first write them in the MATLAB script, run that script, and then run your Simulink model. To convert your signals into a matrix, first use a multiplexer and then use the reshape function where you can specify the number of rows and columns in your matrix. To create a subsystem, click and drag and when the option comes up, press create subsystem to save space within your simulation model. To show more signals at the same time, change the number of axes in the scope block and disable the limit data points to 5000. This will show your entire time history of the signal itself. To multiply matrices, you can use the matrix multiplication block, which is a built-in tool in Simulink. If you're trying to integrate multiple signals, this can be done with just one integrator block. You do not need to add an integrator block over every signal. Just drag the one and then specify your initial conditions as an array into that single block. To reroute a signal, use the from and to blocks where the from is where your signal goes into and the to block is where it comes out from and then connect your signals from there by naming them. If you want to stop a simulation, first use the compare to constant block and then connect the stop block there. This will stop your simulation after that condition has been achieved. To convert x, y positions into latitude and longitude, use the flat earth to LLA block where you can add your initial coordinates along with the direction of the earth center axis. If you don't understand what this means, it's basically which way the arrow of your earth axis will point. It does not always have to point towards one direction. Use the XLS read function and specify the columns and rows to scan if you want to scan data from an Excel file into MATLAB. To write to a specific column, first transpose the vector into a column and then specify the cells which will be filled. If you want to find out in your state space control design model, if your transfer functions have any zeros at the origin, you can do this very quickly by you using the T0 function. Then just check if the vector has any zeros at the origin. It's that simple. To calculate the norm of the matrix, first define the square matrix by doing A transpose times A, where A is your arbitrary matrix, and then use the norm function. To put matrices inside blocks, you can just do this by putting in the matrix itself. If you want to find the rank of a matrix, just use the rank command. If you want to convert your state space model into transfer functions for control system design and analysis, you simply use TF and type your model name in there and then you will obtain your matrix of transfer functions.